Hello, Jamalov here and welcome back to Let's Play Factorio, showing off Factorio Alpha gameplay, this uh, absolutely brilliant indie game where you build factories on an alien planet. And this is what I got done in my first video in about 50 minutes of gameplay in case you were in case you were stopped watching that and skipped into this one. I started with just uh, just a pistol in my hand and couple some ammo for it and some iron plates. I built myself an iron axe, started mining these things, started smelting myself some iron plates and built everything up. And now I have automated operation here, mining me some iron ore, which is taken using these transport belts into uh, another belt here, which the inserters here are taking into these smelters. And if I press Alt key, you can see that I have some copper being smelted here and iron there on top. It's a bit dark now because it's night. I'm afraid the aliens might come as well. I'm zooming out here a bit so you can see that I have more more of those smelters here providing me a little light here. Uh, but uh, to get light and get other awesome things I need to do research. And for that I need to build a lab. Before I do that I will uh, wait that it's daytime so I can plan a bit where I will place it. Uh, while waiting I will show these off in case you didn't check the previous video or didn't watch it in full. Here I have coal being fed into those smelters and here I have my uh, already built up um, power facility, uh, boilers, boiling water, which is taken into steam engine, which produce, give me electricity, which is uh, distributed using these uh, small electric poles around, including these uh, these mines here, which are feeding, feeding the boilers so that there's enough coal there to uh, keep the water at 100. But anyway, now it's uh, starting to uh, brighten up here. So, uh, for the research I will need all kinds of things. I have my smelter operation here. As I zoom out there's plenty of space to expand this way and also this way. Mm, this isn't actually the worst spot for this, so I will actually build it right here. So I will build a couple of labs here. It will take a lot of crafting for me manually, creating copper cables from the copper electronic circuits, uh, gears, and then the lab building itself. I can move while I'm uh, while I'm manually crafting. So if one wants to a really power game, this you can uh, constantly keep on keep something crafting on your person. Um, but uh, I'm not uh, not that uh, that effective in this. I have uh, tons of uh, tons of iron. Actually, I don't need those coal. That coal in my inventory. Um, oh right, there comes the there comes the first lab. I will also queue up twenty science packs here, right clicking to make five at a time. So for those, I need some uh, iron gears and uh, the copper plates, which I have on me. But anyway, let's. Um, Placed, um, hmm. Place the lab here. Let's take the electricity here at first and then I see where I place these. Hmm. Maybe I'll just start here. And to start the research, I will start with the iron working, which will allow me to research steel processing, military, automation, turrets. With the turrets and automation probably being the most important ones, because with these I can build some factories. With uh, with the military I can get submachine gun. With the turrets I can get guard turrets, which will shoot the aliens, which haven't showed themselves yet, but I'm sure they are coming. Mm, let's leave a little room in between, and now I will start feeding these labs with these uh, science packs I'm uh, crafting at all times. It's showing these symbols here because I have pressed the Alt key. I can take those off if I want to, but it usually makes things quite clear what what is being worked in which building. Keep feeding these ones. Oh wait, I didn't choose the research. Stupid me. Now I'm researching iron, iron working, and I will keep on crafting. 
crafting the packs. Uh, I'm uh, waiting here close to the labs because I've noticed that the aliens usually get very attracted when you build uh, or you get their attention when you build enough stuff and uh, they attack the labs when they Research come. Research complete. Thank you. I will uh, start with the turrets so I don't need to stand here guarding these uh, at all times. Or actually, yeah, I will. I will also craft some ammunition. While waiting for that, I will keep these fed with the red science packs. And uh, just like with the smelting operation to get the iron and copper, I will, uh, as soon as I research the automation, I can create uh, create um, assembly assembly factory building thing where you build things, automated crafting, I can uh, start producing these science packs automatically, automating my research in a way. And then I need to do the same for the green science packs. And uh, then I can start, start producing other things uh, automatically as well. Research complete. That was fast. And then the automation. So now I can already build a couple of turrets. I will do that. So yeah, the aliens, they don't attack all buildings. They do attack turrets and they do attack the labs. And uh, if they uh, if they make the beeline for me uh, through the labs, they will uh, stop there and uh, research, uh, destroy these things. So uh, building the turrets, I will uh, place them place them here to uh, defend my base a bit. Okay, so there's the first one. I will uh, probably move these at some point. Let's just place them here for now. And now I will put some ammo in them manually. For now. Now those will automatically shoot if an enemy comes near. I will keep on crafting Crafting the red science back. As soon as I get the automation, I will take the iron plates from this belt and uh, turn them into bullets and feed them into these turrets so I have automated defense. And uh, then I need to do that same thing into, uh, into different sides as well. Or I can just always uh, run back to wherever the turrets are if the aliens come. Uh, or I can just shoot them myself uh, as soon as I... Uh, get the shop machine gun built. This uh, pistol isn't very effective. And um, aliens, they first come in small numbers, but those numbers will keep on growing uh, closer to their spawn points or homes you build your things to. Let's make some uh, transport belts here while waiting. Make some inserters while waiting. Yeah, and I will need to uh, start producing Research some... Research um, complete. All right, thank you. It always uh, scares me a bit even though I see the, see the progress. All right, um, I have the automation now. I think I will go for the military so I can build the, build the shop machine gun. I will probably have enough reds for that. Yeah, and um, actually, let's cancel all these because now I can build an assemble assembling machine. Was the building's name? Mm. Very simply. here. No, it's the wrong one. <laughs> ah, that was the spot. There we go. Need those. Do these here, so this will be fed with ammunition. 
Research complete. All right. Mm. I will take the logistics. I will get uh, underground belts with that. And uh, fast inserters. The research will start going quite fast here. Faster and faster. All right, there comes aliens. And my threats took care of them. So I managed to manage to build an automated defense before they showed up. That is good. These ones will build regular magazines. Feed it into this one. Be fed into those. I will take. Take it from there. That's way. That's way. And that's way. And then, of course, I need some power. Let's put it there. So now, the. Regular magazines are being brought here, and as soon as I power these things up, these will automatically get those magazines in them. Right, so with that done, I can start thinking about building automatically the red science packs and the green ones and now things start to get even more complicated and I will have an even harder time saying anything uh, anything that makes any sense there's plenty of space there so I will do it in there let's take this up. This will probably attract some aliens. I don't see any of their facilities here. Let me go up a bit and see if they're out there. There's a big lake there. Okay, there's one. There's a spawner there, and then there are guns around it, and then aliens are spawning around it. So they are there. There's probably some here on the left as well. Don't see any right now, but okay. So that's fine. So that will be my raw materials of iron. We go here pick these up and now uh, make some more belts while waiting. There's also faster belts and express belts. Uh, the faster belt moves twice as fast as this one and then the express run one three times as fast. Let's also make one, two, three of those. I am... Um, We'll plan to make this a big one. So uh, I will have some resources running here in the center and then the individual products, production lines up from that and uh, taking uh, taking the items at least here to the labs. The research is right now standing before, uh, before I get this thing running. So uh, let's start from that. So we will pick up mm. 
Actually, let's feed it like this. So it will be full. So like that, like that, and like that. And then when I feed it here and here, it will be fed to both sides of that. And now I need to power this thing up. Mm, I think I will want to take the power next to the belt. That's as far as I can get it without power going off. Uh, there goes the light. Oh shoot, I need to go and need to go and cut some wood. Well I guess that's fine because it's it's night time and it's quite hard to see anyway. While waiting I will get myself another axe because this will soon break, I think. I need these for those uh, electric poles. I don't know if there are some sort of harvester robots later on that would cut wood um, automatically, but um, if if there aren't any, then this is the only thing you need to do uh, need to keep doing manually if you want to build these poles. And I don't know if there are some uh, iron poles later on. All right, so now it's uh, getting lighter again. Let's build those poles while waiting. I will go get the raw materials from the boxes. So now um, some iron is continuing on the belt. Some is going into this chest. I will eventually remove that chest. And I will also take this copper here and uh, move it, move it around. So what is going on in here? You can see it now. It takes that, uh, fills the both sides of that belt. And here we can start working on. Um, I won't make this uh, completely packed because there's uh, plenty of space here. I will leave a room in between for a uh, room for expansion. Should I build? All oh, right, I need logistics for the fast ones. All right, let's make it like that. And now let's power each of these up. These will make iron gear wheels. And uh, then I need to figure out where will I... Oh, aliens! Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Hello, hello, hello. Go turrets. That reminds me, let me build myself a sharp machine gun. And let me actually take some of the ammo away from you, thank you. So now I have a... sharp machine gun as my weapon, which is great. Those are still being fed. So when I build these items here, I uh, the aliens somewhere in here noticed that and I uh, got closer to them and they will uh, keep on coming. So right, where will I want to take these? Do I have to... No, I need the lots logistics for that. Mm, that needs 20. Let me actually... Craft those by hand while I'm building these things. Because mm, I think I want to take... These gears are, are required for quite many things. So I probably want to take it... Take it here to this side. Under. Under this one. And uh, maybe turn it, turn it one way here. Hmm. That's what I just said. Will hopefully make sense soon. Let's uh, put 
the red science packs here so the logistics research will continue on doing so at the moment i'm only producing the ammunition for the turrets and the iron gears here i will also need some of those inserters i already have when i research those things i also have long-handed inserters which pick up items from uh, the, not the next dial but one behind it so i could have another belt running here and with those red inserters i could pick up from that, that uh, far away belt and those can be used in uh, to create very 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 complex systems and uh, feeding feeding the different production plants plenty of coal here well i actually have quite a lot of materials on me right now mm. while waiting let's keep on crafting those red ones so this will be where those will be coming under and from the gears I will be able to create the science pack but I also need the copper plates for those so I will need to make a long belt to get these copper that way as well I can do it here will work nicely when I get that. Alright. Hmm. I will need a lot, research of, complete. a lot of belts. Alright, thank you. I will also research optics now so I can start building lamps so I can actually see something during the night time. Hmm. I will take this round like this. And now with the logistics research, I can have underground belts as well. So let's create those. Then create enough of those belts afterwards. Alright, so there we go. How far could I move this? That would be enough. Alright. So from here I could go there, but not there, All right? It's five tiles, I think. All right. Then we need to go uh, under this one. Let's make it like that. Hmm. These ones don't really need to be here anymore. So there. And I can uh, make these belts faster or put them underground later on if needed. Yeah, the copper will actually take this line. It comes there, then the underground belt. Let's take you all the way in there, and this line will be the gears. Let's start taking them away from those actually. Power things up, and they will start being fed here. Good. like that and then we can build some first no wait actually let's make it here let's make two of those so what i'm working towards is creating these uh, science packs mm. there's actually plenty of room for it here and it would be close to Yeah, 
Yeah, probably won't have that many of these that I would need more. So let's make it. Let's make it there. There. And then I will get some. Um, Right, let me see how this works. I haven't tried this before. So I want that there, and then again here. What if I put an inserter there? Will it be... fed into the... No. Let's come from. No, it needs to be needs to be placed on a. And actually, I do want to make it like this again. And then from there, I can take it there. Yes. All right. These, of course, need to be moved to here. No way. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Yeah, this uh, talking, talking while building these things. Oh man, it's hard. But uh, just. Uh, just bear with me, please. <laughs> That's all I ask. One, two, three. Oh, really? Then I might as well take the bolt there. stuck. Oh, it's the wrong way. <laughs> Just a minor little <laughs> little tweak that's can you please make the belt this way? Alright, so there you come. Now since I have those ones I can put them here. And have the copper plates be fed like that. Yeah, and I can keep this one. This one running both sides. Yeah, that's what I will do. So like that. And the length of these belts is kind of control how much is produced. Because these things will stop producing when they don't have a... When they are full, because the inserter cannot take the gear from the, from the thing and place it here. That's why this, uh, this assembling machine is still working, because the belt is empty. But this one is full, so this one is not working. But it will start working if I... Uh, if uh, these are used fast enough and they will be start they will start to get used as soon as I bring in the copper blades. And for that I will need to do it like this. We need to remove you, and that removes the power. So you will be there, little tweaks. And that can go under. And it stops there, of course, and it removes that. So that is there. Mm. Did I research the lamps? Oh no, it's been, optics has been researched. Oh, aliens. No idea where they are, but they might come. 
I like how the how the turrets light up the area. More, more, more. Hello, hello. More. Oh, luckily, these ones from here came first because if these would have hit me while I was standing here and thinking about stuff, uh, that might have been it. This game doesn't have a permadeath you can save, but uh, I like to I like to play this. Well, I'm I'm not saying I I will stop if I. Uh, not saying that I will stop if I am. Um, if I die, but I kind of kind of like to play these things on the Iron Man mode. Huh. Now that doesn't work like that. Hmm. Can I build this one here? Will it mess up this one? Yeah, it will. Alright. Should have taken this one one step here. So I would have this one here. Well, that's what I will do then. That is now connected. These things will move. I need to replant this a bit. Well, actually, those things won't move. These things will. And same thing here. This bolt there, okay. So there, there, I removed the pole and place it, placed it back exactly to the same spot. So now those are being fed. Now these things will start working. If I assign them to create the red ones. Okay, let's uh, work this thing, this thing out. Mm. Place that there. So I'm what thinking about this on the fly, it's not exactly easy. So if I put that there, and that there, that will do it. It will require power though. Hmm, could make it smarter. Well, let's make it there. Now when I bring this one here, they will go to both sides of that, yes. Oh, well, finally. All right. And how will I do this? In there. I will eventually have another line here bringing the other colors in. As well place them there already. Always put a pole there. Mm. Make some belts and I Guess I should build some fast inserters as well.
I will, uh, these things uh, can and will be optimized later on, but this actually took uh, took me a lot longer than I really thought, but uh, I want to plan that central system because it will affect everything, because I will move raw resources here and uh, in the central lane. Right, but now this one here, this one here, and that takes it there. Mm. really want to plan ahead I would get it all the way from here and loop it around just take it um, land it around let's take it underground no let's take it underground if I need to There we go. Now these things, <laughs> yeah, I uh, planned to take that other way around first, but then I decided to make this thing. So that away. Oh shit. Oh wow, there's more of them now. Okay, more turrets. That calls for more turrets. If all those would have hit at the same time, I might have been in a little bit of a trouble. Let's put you there, feed you with these fast ones. Uh, that's not the right spot, there it is. Alright, good. Optics will be researched soon. These things are now working in full motion. I can now build more labs and uh, these things will be produced from here. I can Research build, complete. I can build more of those things. Uh, the assembly machines to build more of these red ones. And now I need to focus on getting the green ones produced. While waiting, I will research all things, all these things that require only the red ones. And now that I can build some lamps, I will, so we can brighten up the place. Let there be light, I say. Okay, I mean, ammunition is being fed to those things, good. Let's uh, put some light here, because the aliens seems to be coming from this way. Here on the other side, all the way down here. Some lighting here. So we can actually see what I have here even when it's not daytime. That's where I decided to end this video. I played for about hour and 20 minutes here and it made sense to split the video in uh, in half so you can see the other 40 minutes in the part 3 where uh, I continue building this uh, massive massive complex I have in my head and uh, in the in the next part you will really see my see, really see me uh, hurt my brain trying to figure things out I uh, hope you will join me then and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you haven't please go to uh, factorio.com and try this game out yourself the demo is free and uh, you can uh, you can get the game uh, uh, buy the game uh, game there at the time I'm playing this it, it is alpha uh, but uh, as you've seen it's very much playable already they are just adding more features 
uh, fixing the little uh, little uh, things in the game. I actually haven't run into any significant bug in the game, which is which is quite something for a game in alpha stage. But anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the part three when uh, this uh, play session continues.